Welcome back. This is still the time on Plus TV Africa. Dear single men, never go into debt to give a girl's family the wedding they want. If that is the price for marrying their daughter, then she is not the right girl for you. A poor family with a rich taste mm. is the surest sign of troublesome in-laws. Mm. That is coming from mm. Reno or Mockery. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? <laughs> I understand where he's, where coming, he's coming from, from of mm -hmm. course. But. You know, you have, but I still think this is, in a way, promoting, uh, what's the word, complacency. And I don't really like that. I think sometimes, I've seen a lot of couples that, it's really for the men, in cultures like this, or so it happens everywhere. This is, not, this is not a conversation you have in some places. But here, I've seen a lot of people really pick up themselves because of, the fact that she's a bit, you know, a little high standard, if that makes sense. Like, oh, I have to really push. And then they give themselves, they give themselves a little while, mm -hmm. you know, to really like sort things out. And then that's nice. Um, so there is, a, there has to be some type of balance with that. And I don't like the way it's just like man who is in, you know, doing the money, that money talk in regards to just the male gender. I still think it should have been a lot more balanced. But I understand where he's coming from. There's a lot of wisdom into that. You cannot dispute the fact that um, some families use that as an, as an excuse to exploit. And you shouldn't really be... I mean, I can't say you break up with someone, but you should really think about going into a relationship with a family like that that's ready to exploit you. Because it won't stop at the wedding. It would be then how, where you live and how you live and where you give it to your children and the school you take them to. And yeah, it is... Hmm. I, I don't know. I, I think I think um, I get what he's saying, and uh, like trying to balance the conversation. I know there are women that have funded their wedding mm -hmm. that you will never hear about mm -hmm. because it's the men's world. He has mm. to feel like we have to help him massage his ego, ego. Mm -hmm. to make him feel like a man or the parent. So uh, the only part I really love about his this is borrowing to give people rice and stew mm. because we want to marry. I don't understand. Mm. I mean, <laughs> I'm hoping that the man I will marry will think like me because mm. I'm not interested in that. Yeah. Even if I have the money, I'm not interested in that stress because I yeah. think it's too stressful yeah. for me to handle. But if you want to do it, I mean, if you rock your boat, please, by all means, if I have the time, yeah. I'll come and dance and wear gilly and eat the rice you want to give us. But borrowing to get that done is something I can never understand because a lot of people do it. They even try to now put their responsibility on their family members or their friends and then start mm. creating any means because you want to get married and the person is not inconveniencing himself or herself to make you comfortable in your mm. own wedding and marriage you know so i think we need to rethink a lot of all the things we do in the process of getting married and actually get our priorities right mm. let's quickly touch because we have a good um, guest yeah today. i think um reno just hit the nail on the head because um it's just 100 i think it's very stupid for any man i've given a scenario of a guy who i used to live with uh, or we used to live in the same apartment when i first moved to the island and just a few weeks after his wedding, the rent was increased and he couldn't afford it because mm. he used all the money for the wedding. And he had to move to a smaller place. Now he moved to a smaller, from a three bedroom, he had to move to a one room and parlor, which doesn't make any sense just because you got married. So I think it should be between you and your partner. Have a conversation, know what works for the both of you. Even if it's just three people in attendance, it's all good. As long as you guys are happy, your happiness is Thank key. Thank God for Zoom wedding. Mm -hmm.